In this problem, we want to solve this formula for uh, for f. So we got. Um, oops, I guess I better clear my tablet. There we go. We got c is equal to five ninths times f minus thirty two, and we want to solve this for f. Well, our first step: get rid of parentheses. And well, we do have some parentheses here. Actually, let me go ahead and write steps down here. Too. Step one. So we're going to take the five ninths and multiply it times the f, and we'll multiply it times the negative thirty-two. So we got uh, five ninths times f, and five ninths times the negative thirty-two. So we got five ninths f minus uh, one hundred and sixty over nine. Now step two, get rid of prince or get rid of fractions. We're gonna multiply everything by the LCM of all our denominators. Well, we have nine and nine, so they're repeated. So our LCM is nine. Multiply the C by nine. Multiply the five ninths F by nine. And we'll multiply the hundred and sixty over nine by nine. These nines are gonna cancel here, and these nines will cancel there. And then we got 9c is equal to 5f minus 160. Well, step three, um, we want to get everything with the variable we're solving for on one side, everything else on the other side. We're solving for f, so I'm going to take the negative 160 and move it to the left side. So we've got 9c plus 160 is equal to 5f. Now step four we don't have to do um, because our the variable we're solving for is only one term. We'll go down to step five. Step five says to divide both sides by a number in front of your uh, divide both sides by whatever's in front of slash back of the variable we're solving for. There's a five in front of it, so we're going to divide everything by five. So I'll divide nine by five. I'll divide 160 by five, and then the uh, five by five with an F here. So that gives us 9 fifths C plus um, 32 is equal to F. And that's our answer.